Welcome to the Proto Art. Be sure to like and subscribe for new content. What's up, y'all? I'm gonna keep this video pretty short and sweet. So Diffusion B just dropped a new update. As you can see, the link will be also in the description below. But with this update, it basically is just a boost in speed and also has Stable Diffusion XL support. So it's just the default base model currently. So you won't be able to implement any other Stable Diffusion XL models just yet, but I'm pretty sure the new uh, update will be coming pretty soon. For the time being, let's check it out. So after you went ahead and downloaded the installer, installed it, just like anything else, make sure you keep a backup of it just in case you're afraid of losing something, uh, but you should be fine. To get this new XL model, you go under models, scroll down, and then you'll see on the bottom right corner here is Stable Diffusion XL Base. So it's ex experimental Stable Diffusion XL 1.0. You just press download. It's gonna take a little while to download because it is a pretty large model. I think it's like six gigs or something like that. So be patient. But by default, the quality overall is really, really good. It does generate pretty large images also by default. So the Stable Diffusion 1.5, is uh, I believe 512 by 512 or something like that. Stable Diffusion XL by default is around 768. It's a pretty large bump in size. So you can get some really cool looking you know, images just with the base model from regular Stable Diffusion. This model you're seeing on your screen right now is from using the Epic Realism uh, model, which is, is available on Civit AI. Pretty cool model if you haven't checked it out. But there's a ton of them out there. But I want to compare this and I want to run Stable Diffusion XL just to see what that looks like by default. So be patient and I'll be back real soon. Okay, so now it's fully installed. You can tell for one, the little window is missing there. And if I scroll up, you can see now it is right here in my uh, models um, drop down there. So going into the text to image again, I'm going to keep the same prompt. And now when I click on my models, you'll see at the very top, uh, it has the Stable Diffusion XL model. So I'm gonna choose that, um, just to kind of compare Stable Diffusion 1.5. I had that by default, and my settings were set to 512, right? As soon as I chose the XL model, the size will increase because that is the default size uh, for XL. Anyway, so keeping the same prompt, I'm gonna run this now, and it should be pretty quick because of the boost in speed and uh, shouldn't be too bad. Um, it's about ooh, close to two minutes per uh, generation here. I do have some stuff running in the background, which will make this go a little slower, but uh, by default, it normally takes longer for it to generate bigger images at a higher resolution. So I will try to run this uh, with the same prompt and then I will repeat the process using the same seed number from the previous generation. Okay, so it just finished up here and as you can see, really high quality images without really needing complex prompting. Uh, give it a go, try it out. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I look forward to the new release. Um, but for the time being, if you haven't already, download this one, check it out. Again, if you have it, join a Discord. Always some new information in there, helpful tips and tricks. And as always, be sure to like, subscribe, talk to y'all soon.